Hello and welcome to this quarter's Leeds Office Market Update by Sanderson Wetherill. So, what's happened in the past year? Well, 2017 was a record-breaking year, with city centre take-up reaching over 1 million square feet for the first time ever. The standout deal of the year was a decision of the GPU hub to take 380,000 square feet at MEPC's Wellington Place scheme in the west end of Leeds. Not only was this the biggest deal in Leeds, but it was also one of the most significant office lettings outside of London during the past 12 months. City centre take-up surpassed levels seen in Birmingham, Bristol and Glasgow last year, reinforcing Leeds as a major office location outside of London. Co-working is a key trend in the Leeds office market and continued demand from serviced office operators and the professional services sector, which has traditionally been Leeds' strength. In addition, we've got North Shoring making a welcome return the largest example of that last year being the decision of Burberry to move its HQ to 6 Queen Street and the decision before that of Sky, Europe's largest entertainment company, to locate its digital technology services campus at Leeds Dock. The knock-on effect of all this activity in the city centre on the out-of-town market has been to make developers and investors up their game and deliver buildings of a city centre quality such as those seen at Number 1 Kirksell Forge and Paradigm at Thorpe Park. So what happened in Q1 2018? Well, in the city centre, there were a number of transactions totalling almost 200,000 square feet, and a significant proportion of which was for grade A space. The expansion of existing businesses such as Dark Group and Equifax contributed towards an 83% increase on the same quarter last year, and made Q1 2018 the strongest Q1 in five years. The key transactions in the quarter involved Walker Morris, the Yorkshire firm of solicitors, signing a pre-let of 78,000 square feet at 33 Wellington Street and Dark Group taking the remaining 48,000 square feet at the Mint to become the sole occupier of that building. So what's been happening out of town? Well there were 24 deals in the quarter totalling over 80,000 square feet. Standout transactions being Balfour BT at Thorpe Park and Pan Credit Systems signing for Victoria House at Launchman Business Park. So what's happening with supply in Leeds City Centre? Well, in terms of grade A product, this is limited to a handful of buildings being 3 Wellington Place, Central Square, 6 Queen Street, 3 Sovereign Square and Majestic. 3 Wellington Place is the latest building to be delivered at MEPC's flagship Wellington Place scheme in the west end of the city. It practically completed at the turn of the year and offers 115,000 square feet of new build grade A office accommodation in a campus environment. Central Square, completed in late 2016, offers the largest new floor plates in the city centre and has approximately 78,000 square feet remaining available following lettings to occupiers including PwC, RSN and Sky. Central Square is redefining what grade A space is in the regional cities and has provided a London quality building in Leeds. That is the reason why we chose Central Square for our new HQ. 6 Queen Street was a JV between Rock Spring and Marshalls and was the only new build grade A building to be brought forward in the traditional core. Its heritage location was the reason why Burberry chose the building to house their new HQ having relocated it from London and following that pre-let there is only 25,000 square feet remaining. 3 Sovereign Square was developed by Bruntwood and Keir and was recently sold to the Leeds City Council on the back of an anchor letting to Adelshaw Goddard, the law firm who chose it for their Yorkshire HQ. The building lies adjacent to a fantastic piece of public realm and close to the new southern entrance to the railway station which has become the gateway to the South Bank area of Leeds. Following the Adelshaw Goddard letting there is only approximately 24,000 square feet remaining to let. Majestic is Rushbond's redevelopment of the iconic 1920s former cinema facing onto City Square and directly opposite the railway station. Retaining the listed facade, Rushbond planned to deliver 66,000 square feet of grade A office accommodation with practical completion due in late 2019. Because of the lack of grade A space, we believe that we'll see a return to a pre-let market where occupiers have to enter into agreements for buildings that have not yet constructed to obtain the space and the buildings they require. In the short and medium term, we also believe that this presents an opportunity for owners, investors and developers to bring forward refurbishment schemes of existing buildings where they can react to tenant demand much more quickly. So where are prime rents for Leeds at the moment and how does this compare to other 
key regional cities. Well, Leeds prime rents are currently £30 per square foot. At the turn of 2017, they were £27.50. So over the last 12 months, we have seen decent growth. But Leeds will still represent really good value compared to its principal regional competitors, such as Bristol, Birmingham and Manchester. Right, well, I've brought you up to date, and 2018 is looking like another really strong year for take-up due to the number of live requirements in the market at the moment and further government departments looking to build upon the government hub at Wellington Place. We look forward to continuing to see the city transform itself and welcoming new big name occupiers to Leeds.